Our motoring tip of the week concerns battery chargers. Now, depending on what you're doing, what vehicle you're working on, the charger can vary quite considerably. This big charger right here, this wheel charger, is the kind that you'd find in a garage, a car dealership, or anywhere where a pro mechanic was working. If you need to get the job done fast, this is your man. Now, these two smaller chargers right here on top of the tire are the type that a, that a homeowner or hobbyist would buy, and these are excellent things to have at your residence or wherever you store your vehicles and cars. Uh, so, you know, just to give you an example, if you inadvertently left the trunk lid open or the hatch open on your vehicle, a door open, whatever, an interior light ran the battery down overnight, one of these two chargers will bring it back up so that next morning you can start and go to work. And they charge at low rates, and that is the best way to charge a battery because you don't want to generate a lot of heat. So having a small charger like this is good. Now, we've also been looking at the WeatherTech charger here and trying it out the last few weeks. Now, a small charger like this is really good for a vehicle that's in storage or used only occasionally or seasonally, i.e. your muscle car, your convertible, your special car for the summer that's maybe stored away for the winter time, your motorcycle, boat, ATV, whatever, those seasonal vehicles. In the off season, of course, the battery cycles down and then you want to use it later, it's dead and you try to cycle it back up. And cycling the battery is what shortens its life. So it's better to maintain it in a full state of charge. Anybody in the battery business will tell you that. So this little charger is what you need. This will maintain your battery in a full state of charge. It's what is often referred to as a trickle charger. It charges at a low rate, four amps. Uh, it'll charge six, six volt or 12 volt batteries. Most of our vehicles are 12 volt, but there's the odd six volt application if you've got really, really older machinery. The charger comes with two lead sets. I've got one lead set hooked up to my motorcycle battery here right now. I've got the WeatherTech four amp charger plugged into my pickup truck battery right now. There's a second set of leads that come with the charger that have alligator clips, and that's what I've got on this battery right now. And in the positive line, you can see an inline fuse holder right there. So the, um, the charger is polarity protected and you're protected against shorts uh, by having that fuse in line. So uh, this is a great way to charge a lot of different batteries. You can charge uh, pretty much any kind of battery that would be in any vehicle you can imagine from an AGM, a gel cell, maintenance free, a flooded battery, or even a lithium ion phosphate battery. You can charge six or 12 volt batteries. And you can see that in the few minutes we've been here, it's already brought my pickup truck battery to a full state of charge. The fully charged light is flashing. You also need to invest in a digital voltmeter and learn how to properly check the state of charge of a battery. On the corner of my toolbox, I've got a chart here that I transferred so that I can quickly assess what the state of charge is on a battery because if you don't know where you're starting you don't know how long to to leave the charger on you don't know if you can initiate testing as well you need to know if that battery is fully charged before you start that's your motoring tip of the week